Okay. So, good morning, everybody, um, and those on the recording. Welcome back to another strength, high performance strength. So, we're changing the layout a little bit today. Instead of doing eight strength exercises at the end, we're going to reduce that down to six and we're going to repeat through twice. So, instead of doing sort of 40 seconds on each strength exercise, you're now going to be doing a minute this week. Again, bringing in the, the additional weight as well to start progressing you on a little bit more. So we'll run through the normal, we'll run through the normal warm up and activation kind of stuff, and then we'll crack straight on with the strength as soon as it's time. So starting nice and easy with our knee pulls. So just a gentle pull to the chest. Switching sides, just marching on the spot. Again, build into it it's nice and early. start to warm up you should be able to pull a little bit tighter get a little bit more range of motion through the muscles okay now we'll go knee and ankle and just rotate through gently one okay T. so nice and wide we're going to roll through bending the leg you're leaning down to touch the inside of the foot so you'll feel the stretch of the straight leg standing up in the middle go down to the other side Last one. Okay, watch what's above you. Okay, 10 big arm circles behind. And change direction. So crunching going on in my shoulders this morning. One more, 10. Okay, we're gonna come down into the floor. We're gonna do our plank with shin touch. Start loosening up the hamstrings a little bit more. So we're gonna take the hips up, touch the shin, come back down into the high plank position. Up, touch the shin, come back down. And one more, 10, and just come back up onto the feet and we'll just do our hamstring walk again for the hamstrings. So feet pointing forwards, back, shoulder blades back, back nice and straight, hinge over, so think about pushing your bum back towards the, roof, the, the wall at the back of the room, feel the stretch come down the hamstrings, come back up, take a step forward, point the toes in, hinge over. So we're hinging rather than just letting the back round and touch the floor. So bum back, keep the back straight. Just do a couple more. Make sure you change the foot position, so facing straight, pointing in or pointing out. Okay, and we're going to come back down onto the floor. 
into your high plank position and then bring one foot up to the outside of your hand. Keep the back leg as straight as you can. Chest up, back nice and straight. Just find that bit of a stretch. So you might feel it down the, the back leg hip flexor or on the glute of the front leg. From here, the leg that's at the front, the same arm, we're gonna drop the elbow down towards the floor and then rotate up. So we're going to do eight of these, three, and last one. Okay, switch sides. The other foot is up on the outside, back leg is straight as you can, chest up, back nice and straight. Find your stretch where it's tight this morning. Okay, and then same arm as the lead back, elbow down. If you just join, just make sure you're on mute, please. And then open up to the top, elbow down, reach up. One more, eight. Okay, take yourself fully down onto the floor. Arms out wide. We're gonna do our scorpion. So you're gonna take the heel up, reach over. If you can touch the floor, great. If you can't, don't worry. Come back down and switch sides. Right, we come up, we should do some squats with an overhead reach. So have your hands pointing down towards the floor, feet is slightly wider than hip width, toes pointing out a little bit. We're gonna squat down, reach the hands above the head as high as you can, and then stand up. So make sure the knees aren't caving in, knees are staying above the ankles. So come down, reach, stand. Two more. And eight. Okay, so we're going to go back down to the floor. We're going to go into our activation straight away. So we're starting with our glute bridge. So lying back, heels and ball of foot on the floor. From here, we're gonna roll the pelvis down, so squeeze the core nice and tight, push that lower back into the floor, and then drive the heels in, hips up as high as you can. We're gonna squeeze for two at the top, and then lower down. Okay, so when you're ready, so lower back into the floor, drive up, squeeze the glutes for two, one, lower down. And again. So before every time you push up, make sure you got that lower back pressed into floor, squeeze the core. Just do a couple more. Okay, we go onto your side. So we're gonna do our side plank clam. So from here, bottom leg stays on the floor. You're gonna use that knee to lift the hips up and then we're gonna open the top knee, really squeeze that glute over the top leg. 
come back down all the way to the floor. So we're gonna do eight on each side. So push up, squeeze the hips forward one. Two left, seven, eight. Okay, switch sides. It's exactly the same. So bottom knee stays on the floor. We're gonna use that knee, push the hips up, push the hips forward, and then open the top leg for eight. One more. Okay, so you're going to go onto your front. We're going to do our mighty W's. So hands out in front, thumbs up to the ceiling. We're going to squeeze the core. We're going to pull the shoulders up, hands up as high as you can. We're going to make a Y. We're going to come out into the T. So really focus on squeezing them shoulder blades as tight together as you can into your W and then push forwards. Then have a pause. Okay, so we're going to do four full rounds. When you're ready, Y, T, W, push forward. That's one. That's two. Three. Okay, last round. Y, T, W, push forward, hold, good, and rest. Right, so the last little bit of activation that we'll do, is just a little bit of balance work. So standing on one leg, have a slightly soft knee on that leg you're standing on. Foot is like a tripod, so your heel, your big toe, your little toe sits on the floor. Just gonna take the knee out, Bring it back in and then kick back. Okay, so we're just going to do five on each side, just switching on the glutes a little bit more. And kick back. Make sure the core's working nice and strong. Keep as tall as you can, keep that back straight. Just go one more round on this side. Okay, switch legs. So exactly the same, knee up, take the knee out, in, kick back, keep them hips level. Okay, one more round on this side. Okay, good. Right, grab yourselves a drink if you want one, as we're gonna go into the strength block of this session. So as I said at the beginning, usually we'd have done eight to 10 exercises of roughly 40 seconds on, 20 seconds rest, and then straight into the next exercise. Today, we're reducing that down to six exercises that we're gonna do in supersets. So we're gonna do a pair of exercises straight after each other with no rest in between. And then we'll repeat each superset twice. So you're gonna cover each exercise for a minute this time, rather than just 40 seconds. The first pair we've got, so with these strength ones as well, you can now introduce the weight. Okay, so the first one we've got, we're going to hold the weight on the shoulder. We're going to start in a knee drive. We're going to drop the knee down to the floor, touch, come up halfway, go back down, touch, then come up into your knee drive. So we're doing a pulse lunge. So 
So it's touch, half, touch, up. Okay. So we will do 30 seconds on each side of that. And then we will drop down into 30 seconds of press ups on the floor. So again, like normal, if you struggle with press ups on the floor, keeping the body straight, then raise the hands. So bring the hands up higher and do your press ups there. So you keep the body in one straight line. Okay. So we're going to start in 10 seconds. It's going to be quite quick. 30 seconds on each leg, 30 seconds press ups straight after each other. And then we'll take 30 seconds rest before we go into uh, the second round. Okay, first one. So off we go. So drop down, halfway, down, up. You haven't got a weight, that's fine, don't worry. Okay, one more on this side. Good, switch sides. So knee up, drop down, halfway, down, up. Okay, rest it there. So five seconds to get down to the floor. Feel your press up starting in three, two, one. Off we go, 30 seconds. And rest. Okay, got 30 seconds. So grab yourself a drink. And I'm going to go back to the split squat with the knee drive for a second round. Okay, 10 seconds. So weight on the opposite side to the leading leg just to start switching on that core a little bit more, keeping that balance, keeping strong. Three, two, one. Drop down, half, down, up. So keep that knee over the ankle, don't let it cave in. Last one on this side. Okay, switch legs. And straight in. Half, down, up. Ten seconds left on this side. Three, two, one. Okay, five seconds again, get down onto the floor. Press up, start in three, two, one. Off we get. Three, two, one, and rest. Okay. Bit of a longer rest, 30 seconds to a minute. We're gonna change into our second superset. So again, with your weight, if you haven't got one, don't worry. We're gonna do our single leg deadlift. So practicing that balance work. Weight is in the opposite hand that's on the, to the leg that's on the floor. Soft knee. We're gonna kick that foot back. Take the weight down towards the floor. Keep the shoulders as level as you can. Keep the hips as level as you can. Come up into your knee drive. 
So the weight is moving around that leg, comes down in front, comes up to the side. Okay, everything we're doing, working on balance, working on run mechanics. So we'll do 30 seconds on each side of that one, and then we'll come to the back of your chair, and we'll do our 30 seconds of tricep dips. Okay. So we've got 15 seconds and we'll start. So take your time through this one. Everything is about form, keep you strong, keep the back straight. Three, two, one, off we go. So take the foot back, down towards the floor, feel that stretch down the front leg, the hamstring, and back up. And switch sides, exactly the same, straight in, leg back, keep the hips level, knee up to the front. Last one, rest it there. So get ready on the back of your chair. Starting in three, two, one. Drop down to 90 degrees, push back up. So onto your heels to make it a little bit more difficult, leg straight. So this is working at back of the arm, that final portion of your swim stroke. Pushing that hand back towards the back wall. Three, two, one. Okay, 30 seconds rest. And we're going to go back through the single leg deadlift again. So again, hips level, don't let them open up to the side, really focus. Even if you have to reduce the amount of range you do so you don't go as low to keep them hips level, that is fine. Okay, 10 seconds. So weight in the opposite hand, three, two, one. Kick that leg back, keep the hips level. Drive the knee up to the front. So think of your hip as the pivot point. As the body comes up, the knee comes through. Last one, switch legs, exactly the same. Kick back, find your stretch point down the hamstring, pivot up. And last one. Okay, over to your chair. Tricep dips starting in three, two, one. Down to 90 degrees, push up, push through the palms of the hands. Ten seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. Okay, grab a drink. One more superset to do. So on this one, we are gonna do a crab walk first. So you're gonna hold your weight if you've got one. We're gonna lower down into a sort of a three quarter squat. So we're not going full depth, just roughly halfway. Weights on the chest. 
We're going to stay low. We're going to step across. Okay, the big thing is focusing on driving that knee out to the side. Don't let the knee collapse and take the foot out. One stick. Okay, knee out, stick it down. Okay, so that is first. And then we're going to do a calf raise into a soleus raise. So just have something to balance on. We'll start single leg. We'll start only with 10 on each side. So the first one will be leg straight, 10 calf raises. So up onto the wall, put back down. We'll then go straight into 10 soleus raises where we bend the leg and we lift the whole body up that way. Again, going onto the ball of the foot. So it's just moving the, the muscle we use to below the calf. And we'll do that on each side. Okay, so it's crab walk for 30 seconds into 10 calf, 10 soleus raises on each leg. So we're going to start in 10 seconds. So get your weight ready. Keep that chest up, back nice and straight. Three, two, one. Okay, step across, keep as tall as you can, keep strong. Glutes will be burning after this one. And push the knee out. 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Okay. Over to your wall or whatever you're using to balance on. 10 straight leg calf raises first. So just go up nice and smooth. One, two, three. Don't rush. Try and get as much range as you can. Six, seven, eight. 10. Okay, take the knee down, bent leg. Make sure you're lifting your body weight, you're not just letting the knee fall forwards. Lift up, one, two, six, seven, eight, nine, Last one, 10. Okay, switch sides. So straight leg first, keep tall. One, two, and last one, 10. Okay, knee down. So keep the body weight over it, lift the entire body. Two. Eight, last two. Ten, good, okay, have a quick walk around, stretch the calves up a little bit. Got 30 seconds rest. I'm going to go through that one more time to finish off. Big focus with all these is making sure you've got that big toe glued to the floor. Massively beneficial for your running is making sure you're using that big toe. Helping it work with the glutes, keeping stable, keeping strong, making that run powerful. And then all the other strength work as well is going to help with the biking and the swimming. Right, 10 seconds and we'll start again. So crab walk first. Three, two, one. Lower yourself down, side step, driving the knee out. Keep low, keep strong. Don't let yourself creep up. Okay, last time, so we're going to go back to the other side. And stand, good. Okay, 
calf raises again then. So right leg first, straight leg, stand nice and tall, 10 reps all the way up, big squeeze, big toe down, push it into the floor. Two, take your time on the way back down. two, ten, okay, knee down, bent leg, do the soleus raise, one, make sure you're not pulling yourself up with your balance and you're holding on to anything, four, eight, last two, Ten. Good. Okay. Switch sides. Left leg. Straight leg first. All the way up. Big toe down. Big squeeze. One. Two. Three. Eight. Last two. Ten. Okay. Knee down, keep strong, keep stiff, all the way up. One, two, three. Eight, last two. Okay, good. Just have a quick walk around, shake the legs off. Okay, if you need to give the calves a quick stretch, just take the one leg behind, just gently push that heel towards the floor. Because they will go tight after the calf and soleus raises. Okay, and then if your glutes are feeling tight, just do the same as the warm up. Just do a couple of gentle knee pulls. And then that will be the end of our session. Good work, guys, well done. Uh, have a great day. If you're doing the recording, have a good weekend. And we'll catch you all next week. See you later.